You're listening to the Digitally Irresistible Podcast, where we cover the optimization of digital technologies and irresistible people. Brought to you by i Each episode features someone who sheds a little more light on the ins and outs of delivering a great employee and customer experience that has a measurable impact on the business. And now, here's today's guest. Hey, welcome to another episode of the Digitally Irresistible Podcast. I'm your host, Bernie Borges. Today's guest is Andrew McNeil. Welcome, Andrew. Hi, Bernie. Lovely to see you. Lovely to have you, Andrew. Thank you for joining us from across the pond. Looking forward to a robust conversation around a robust solution that your company helped helped us with. So let me set the stage for the conversation, Andrew. Uh, as you know, at the start of 2020, ICOR already had a very stable, robust work at home solution in place. In fact, we had deployed it years earlier to various domestic and offshore programs. Then when COVID-19 really began impacting our global operations, especially in March of 2020, we saw the demand for work at home solutions expand rapidly. So we took the opportunity to strengthen that infrastructure with a bring your own device, a BYOD solution. Our digital team researched the marketplace for a technology solution that would enable our work at home agents to secure their personal PCs that would enable them to work remotely for our, for our clients. And Andrew, as you know, and we're going to share with our audience here, we selected your company, FinScale Technology. So I want to discuss that with you. Let's unpack that. But first, let's begin with the introduction to your company, FinScale. Tell us about FinScale Technology and Andrew, your role at the company. Well, Bernie, thank you so much. Um, my name is Andrew McNeil. I'm the chief customer officer for ThinScale, and I look after all of the sort of sales and marketing operations for ThinScale. And actually, Bernie, I think you've already done a fabulous job of articulating exactly what it is uh, that we do as a company, which is we are focused on helping BPOs improve their endpoint security, and particularly, uh, in the context of bring your own devices. Uh, this really came about around the pandemic um, when companies like your own, uh, although I must say you were one of the first to do it, um, came to us looking for solutions in very much the way that you described it. And what we've been helping BPOs with is improving the security, improving the manageability for the IT operation and improving the ability uh, for uh, BPOs to recruit from lots of different locations and in all of this to make it a much better agent experience. Yeah, well said. Well, I want to kind of talk through some of the points you actually just hit on, Andrew, right there. And the first one that I want to address is really the need for speed in transforming agents into a work and home model. In fact, in the early days of COVID, i moved 18,000 employees to a work and home model in three weeks. So why don't you speak to how your solution helped us do that? Yeah, I think that's a really uh, good point. Um, and indeed, I think when the COVID pandemic hit, what we saw was that those BPOs like yourself who'd really adopted an early relationship with us and had pioneered your working with us, were in a position to make rapid transitions of very large numbers of agents. And you've just quoted there you know, the 18,000 in, in three weeks, which is a phenomenal uh, transition to achieve seamlessly. So it really doesn't surprise me um, that the president in Trinidad was uh, calling you guys out as somebody who really had done a fantastic job of supporting them by the way in which you had transitioned agents seamlessly in the midst of such a crisis. Yeah, in fact, I have that quote ready to go here. It's not something I've memorized, but it's a, it was actually the Minister of Trade at uh, Trinidad and Tobago. And what she said is that, i Trinidad Limited, a global BPO, which offers support for several international telecommunication and retail companies, has managed to retain its employee base of over 1,000 persons 
and has transitioned 95 percent of its workforce to work at home, providing an internet allowance to support team members who required that extra support. So it was really terrific to get that recognition from the local government authorities at Trinidad and Tobago. Now, you also mentioned, uh, Andrew, the ability to recruit employees fast and also in non-urban areas. Like we needed to be able to recruit where we don't have a physical presence. So and be able to tap into like untapped labor pools because of that. Why don't you comment on how you helped us do that? Yeah, no, I think that's a critical part of what we've been able to do in terms of execution and support uh, for, for BPOs. Early on, because we'd been working with a number of BPOs for about uh, a year and a half before the pandemic hit, one of the pieces that we developed was a piece of technology which um, enabled people to put a validation uh, link into the recruiting component so that during the recruitment piece, um, agents would download this link and it would validate the quality of the machine, um, the readiness of that technology, it would help agents update and patch their machines so that they were ready to go. And it was able to check things like the internet speed. What this meant was that you could now think about recruiting people who would be sitting a long way away from the contact center. So you didn't have to just think about your recruitment pools, which were often in highly contended uh, metropolitan areas. And again, I think you guys were at the front end of doing this by seeing in, in many of the geographies that you were serving, such as the Philippines, that you moved out beyond those contended metropolitan areas into towns and cities that were further afield, but still had highly talented pools of available uh, talent to recruit, and also good infrastructure that would support the internet speeds that you need to serve your customers well. Yeah. And Andrew, as you know, one of i services is seasonal staffing. We do seasonal staffing for retailers, utilities, catalog companies, and others. And we typically go from around 3,500 employees to about 9,000 employees within the span of weeks. So, you know, we couldn't be able to do that in a work at home environment without a uh, solution like we have with yours at ThinScale Technology. So that's just another uh, terrific benefit. I also wanna talk about the fact that the remote working technology, when we were doing our due diligence, we wanted to make sure that what we selected would not be invasive to the employee's PC because that's where it's, it's going. So why don't you address that? Yeah, uh, just before I, I do that, Bernie, let me just pick up on the on the other on the point you've yeah. just made about uh, length of time, which is also in a, in the current environment where we've got really extenuating lead times, where you've got those uh, pro, those fluctuations in agent numbers that you require. That's where it really kicks in as a benefit because in a competitive environment, if you've got this kind of solution, you'll be able to source agents at speed where others will be constrained by product availability. And I think we'll see a good bit of that in, in Q4. Now, the other piece in terms that you've just mentioned, in terms of helping people to focus on getting uh, space away from work, I think we're, we're in an environment at the moment where work at home can very often drive us into a place where we extend our work hours because we're not leaving the office. So this capacity to actually help people to disconnect, it's, it's one of the paradoxical benefits that comes with Secure Remote Worker, because as soon as you log out of the uh, this secure piece, what it means for the agent is that's the end of the workday, and therefore there's no flow of corporate emails or Teams messages or all the rest of it. So it gives them what in, in European context could be referred to as a right to disconnect. And increasingly, certainly in Ireland, the government are talking about bringing that in as legislation in order to protect employees from overworking. And I think that's a, a very positive agent-centric way of looking after and caring for your employees, which is so critical to the way in which you then, in turn, end up serving your customers. Exactly. Good for mental health. It, it makes employees happy. And of course, mm -hmm. happy employees create a, a great customer experience. So great point. Thank yeah. you for that, Andrew. Now, 
let's also talk about security. We can't have this conversation without right. discussing the importance of security. We need Absolutely. it to mirror the same level of security that we have in our physical facilities. How did you help us with that? Well, I think that really has been the heart and center, really, of what we do is we supply endpoint security. And um, in so many instances, I think people have thought that things like VDIs with VPNs are sufficient in order to control the security of endpoints. But this is, um, this is not correct. Uh, you still got keyloggers and screen scrapers, which provide a potential source of attack. And with the whole focus of our technology is supplying the ultimate in lockdown control uh, for bring your own device, such that it, as you very rightly put it, mirrors the same degree of security that you were achieving um, in your contact center. And indeed, as your uh, technical team were evaluating our technology, that was one of the key requirements that our technology would be able to do exactly that. Okay. And then what about uh, implementation? Um, two, two points on that. Logistically, we wanted to avoid the logistics of shipping physical devices. And then we also wanted it to be easy for our employees to implement. How did you help us with those two? I think we've touched a little bit on the on the logistics piece of it. The um, focus of that single click installer means that with with you can ship out a single link, and from that link, um, it would automatically download the software onto the agent's devices and ensure that their machine was ready to go. So there's two pieces to the logistics there. Uh, one was you know, the speed at which you can do that instead of shipping devices everywhere, you um, all you've got to do is ship the link and then the software downloads automatically from there. The second piece of it is because they it, it, it helps them patch the device, make sure the antivirus is up to speed and all the rest of it. What it means for your technical team is that the agents have already sorted their machines out so that they're ready to work uh, by the time that you start. Um, and so with that in mind, what it means is it really cuts down the onboarding time. And, you know, I think what, what people see is a real improvement in terms of agent experience, because instead of a delay during that critical early stage with a company, um, a delay between the point of recruitment and the point that they actually get into technical onboarding with this approach, it's instantaneous. Okay. What's the second part to your question, Bernie? Yeah, no, I think we've 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 covered it because we've actually been touching a lot of topics. Even in your opening remarks, Andrew, you did a fabulous job in that elevator uh, statement of touching on a lot of these topics that we've been unpacking a little bit. So I think we're we're good on that. You've touched on again the employee the the importance of providing a good experience for the employee and how it's good for their mental health. And how it really allows them to be a happy employee, and you know, at Icor, that's that's everything to us. It really is. You know, we use the word irresistible. It's in this podcast name. We have an irresistible culture at at Icor, so it's very important that the work environment, the tools, the technologies that we deploy to our agents, really allow them to be happy and allow them to be irresistible, so that they can, in fact, create a great customer experience. So I think we've we've already touched on that. Uh, very, uh, very uh, sufficiently. I want to ask you uh, one final question before I get to my final question, Andrew. And that is, since you know, you've been working with us for a while now, and I'd like to know, tell us, and this might be putting you on the spot a little bit, but tell us, what's it been like to work with Icor as a partner? So I think it, you might expect me to be very positive because I find myself on an iCall podcast. Um, but the nice thing is that I actually can be very positive about it simply because it is true. Um, I think really from the very first time that I met Tan Shant, who's your senior VP of technology, uh, he and I really just got on extremely well uh, right from the get go. I think you have a fabulous team and that experience that I had with Tan has really carried all the way through the company with the other people that I've met. Um, I think, you know, like in any vendor partnership, you're demanding and you expect high professional standards and, and indeed I would expect no less. 
but it's really all done in a sense of partnership and goodwill. And out of that, I think we have built a, an operation together that has really worked extremely well for both of us. And I think with any in any company you have, um, you know, there are, there are certain companies that become favorite customers. And I would have to say iCore is one of mine. Well, thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that. And uh, Tarn, if you're watching this episode, um, I want to have you on one day. So I'm coming, I'm knocking on your door, your digital door to have you on uh, the, the podcast one day. So everything you said about Tarn is is so accurate. And thank you for, for sharing that. And we get to our final question. And I think you know what that is. And that is, when you are not working, what do you like to do for fun? Well, having just come back from holiday, uh, one of the things I love to do is uh, surfing. Uh, and if you're in Ireland, that involves boogie boarding in very cold water with lots of wetsuits and usually in driving rain. Um, but it's fun nonetheless, and you can stay in and at it for a good few hours. Um, when in non-COVID times, when we were able to travel, skiing was another of my passions. Um, I love traveling generally. And in fact, I took a sort of four month break um, when I left Dell uh, a, a good while back. And my wife and I traveled extensively around Africa and South America. And I thoroughly enjoyed that and saw lots of wonderful things. Uh, I read and really enjoy that. Um, I studied literature at university. So reading has always been a passion of mine. Um, so that and movies and, and theater, those are the kind of things that uh, keep me um, uh, they, relaxed. They all sound fascinating, but I have to say I have a visual of you uh, boogie boarding uh, in the rain um, <laughs> in a wetsuit. So that, sound, that sounds fun and exciting. So thank you. Uh, for it's lovely. And, on, I, and, and the rest of the beach is empty. So you have three, four miles of beach and the waves and just the rest of the family. Yeah, that's awesome. Andrew, where would you like to send our viewers, our listeners, to learn more about um, what you've got going on at ThinScale Technology? So I think probably the best place is go to our website, thinscale.com, and uh, you know, hopefully you will find all that you need there. Um, my email address is andrewmc at thinscale.com. Very welcome to write to me directly. Um, and very happy to talk to you about any aspect of what I have been talking about here today. Terrific. Andrew, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us on this episode of the Digitally Irresistible Podcast and sharing with us just really what went into uh, the deployment of our work at home force, spanning many thousands of employees using your thin scale technology solution that really enabled to do that securely and efficiently. Thank you so much, Andrew. It's a pleasure. Really enjoyed being with you, Bernie. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Digitally Irresistible podcast, where we cover the optimization of digital technologies and irresistible people, delivering a great employee and customer experience that has a measurable impact on the business. Brought to you by i -Core. Be sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast player so you don't miss future episodes.